in Oklahoma if they didn't have enough to deal with now. Thunderstorms are making the cleanup from that massive tornado even more difficult. Many people didn't have insurance and they don't know how they'll rebuild. Others are in the midst of grief as the first of 24 funerals was held today. Mike Drolea has our report from Oklahoma. It was the last thing more Oklahoma residents needed. Severe thunderstorm warnings along with flash floods, hail, and even the possibility of more tornadoes. And in the middle of it all, we found Israel Perez on his roof, adjusting tarps in his sandals, then trying to keep up with the leaks inside. He can't afford any more damage. He's one of the many without insurance. How much do you think it'll cost to fix your home? I don't know. I don't know. Do you have enough savings? Do you have any money to do that? You need help from the government. Now that the search and rescue operation is complete, insurance adjusters have moved in, figuring out how big the checks are they have to cut. Also on the ground, the federal agency FEMA. We spoke with one adjuster who is not authorized to speak on camera. He says they're going to be working seven days a week, 14-hour days, until every one of these claims is processed. But that's still no guarantee for homeowners like Perez. How much money he can expect is anyone's guess. Even getting to his claim will take time. 12,000 homes were damaged or destroyed. The latest claim estimate being talked about is $2 billion. That's actually why I'm here today, um, waiting on the adjuster to get here. Jerry Rhodes lost everything, but insurance promised he'd be covered. Like many, he'll start over, just not here. I'm never coming back to more as far as a place to live. This is the latest video of the tornado that erased the Oklahoma City suburb on Monday. 24 people died. Today, we're learning more about the victims. The youngest was only four months old. Case Futrell died with his mother, Megan, when the roof collapsed in the 7-Eleven. The first funeral will be for nine-year-old Antonia Candelaria, ladybug to her family. She died with her classmates, Emily Conitzer and Nicholas McCabe. He's my boy. He's a good, he's a good boy. The cleanup is progressing, slowly. The emotional wounds this monster tornado inflicted will take much longer to heal. Mike Trolley, Global News, Moore, Oklahoma.